This salsa here is definitely a crowd pleaser and is so easy to make. I'm gonna line a nice size cookie sheet with some parchment paper. Anaheim peppers, they are a must when it comes to salsa. Because I'm making a nice size batch of this salsa, I'm gonna go with four. And six beautiful jalapenos. These are a nice size. If you're going with smaller ones, you may wanna get a few more, but if they are big, six is all you're gonna need. There is gonna be a bit of heat behind this salsa, and that heat comes from these serrano peppers. So depending on how much heat you want your salsa to have is going to be how many serrano peppers you use. I'm using five. I set my oven to 350, it is 215. These peppers are gonna go in the oven for about 20 to 25 minutes until they're golden brown. It's been about 26 minutes, yep, 26. And these peppers are nice and golden brown. They are cooked. I can see that the skin of the peppers has lifted off, I guess, the meat of the pepper itself. And so this is what you want your peppers to look like. You're gonna need a dish towel for this part. This is a designated one that I have for salsa making because peppers have such a strong scent to them that I don't wanna ruin other towels, so I use this one. I'm gonna get it good and wet. I'm gonna wring it out. Why am I doing this? Well, because this is an easy way to steam the skin off of your peppers. Once we cooked the peppers, the skin tends to stick to the meat of the peppers. So if you place your peppers in a wet towel right out of the oven while they're hot, let them set for about an hour. When you take them out of this towel, oh my word, look at how cool this is. Your peppers are good and ready for the skin to come right off and it's gonna peel right off. Would you look at that? It is so satisfying. If some skin gets left behind, it's okay. You just wanna get most of the skin off for the most part and just expose the meat, the rib meat of that pepper. With these peppers, I'm gonna leave the seeds in. Now, if you wanna cut down on the heat of your salsa, this would be the time to take the seeds out. Like I said, I don't mind the seeds. I like the heat, so I'm gonna leave the seeds in all of my peppers. And I'm gonna remove the skin off of the Anaheim, the Jalapeno, and the Serrano, which is all of the peppers that I'm using for this salsa. This here is about to be the best salsa ever. The rib meat of the peppers I'm gonna put in a blender. I put just a bit of water in there and I'm gonna chop blend it for about seven to eight seconds. Put it in a bowl. To that bowl, I'm gonna add three Roma tomatoes that I chopped, two bunches of green onion, yum. How about some brown onion? Ended up only using one onion. Some cilantro, one bunch will do, chopped finely. Some minced garlic. If you wanna use fresh garlic and mince it yourself, you can. We love garlic here, so I'm gonna add two tablespoons. Some fresh lime. Yes, this is lime in a plastic bottle. If you wanna use lime and cut it up and squeeze it, I say go for it, but this tastes the same. How about some fire roasted tomatoes? Yep, we're gonna to top it off that way. I love those fire roasted tomatoes added with the fresh Roma tomatoes. I feel like it just gives it a bit of a different taste. I'm gonna go ahead and mix all of these ingredients here. I'm gonna add a bit of water because my salsa is on the thicker side, so I wanna thin it out just a bit, and that's how you can thin it out easily. And would you look at how amazing this looks? Now to season it, you're gonna season it to your liking. I'm just adding some kosher salt. The kids were sitting here waiting for me to be done. That is Kayla pretending she's stirring it. If your salsa is a bit too hot, you can add just a bit of tomato sauce to it to mild it up just a bit. I'm happy with mine. I'm ready to eat. Our favorite tacos to add this salsa to is our vampire style carne asada tacos. Vampire style means you melt that cheddar jack cheese right there on your corn tortilla face down and that is how you get the cheese to look just like that. Add some carne asada, some avocado cheese, whatever it is you want, then top it off with this salsa and it is amazing.
please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and let's get this video to 5,000 likes because like I always say each and every one of your thumbs up and those comments that you do leave down below well they really do help my channel to grow and it helps YouTube to notice me just a bit more until next time everybody I hope you have a fantastic day happy everything on a budget stay happy stay safe stay healthy but most of all stay positive please and bye for now everybody